hello guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to add the ask and the bid how to create a robot that will get the ask price and the bid price which will give you the spread the correct spread of the market that robot can read the spread for you it can also calculate it for you so what happens first thing first please give me a subscribe and then hit the notification bell give me a like if you like you love this video before i even begin okay so what i'm going to do first i'm going to say double i'm going to give uh, my ask a, a a type remember that ask will come as a variable so i can call it ask you can the name you can put anything okay but mine's going to i'm going to call it ask so that i can remember very simple so what do you do remember this is the name of the variable now i have to assign the value to the name what do you assign on the value you are going to say normalize double this is a a, a this is a method okay so this this method is going to take another meth method okay I normalize double and then you are going to say symbol info you're calling another method inside the method okay so in that way we have method inside the method no much problem okay so what happens here we're going to focus on this method which says symbol info double okay we are going to put in first thing we want the symbol that's the first thing that we do we put a comma and say we want the symbol ask okay symbol and then you say symbol ask this is going to read uh, the symbol the current symbol on the chart and then it's going to take the info about the ask which is exactly what we are doing so after that we are going to put to make this to be digits okay so that if you are on jpy you know we have this problem of jpy on jpy you have three digits after the comma and then on other you have five so that way this robot will simply i can't even write the digits i don't know okay so in that way this robot will be able to to calculate that automatically for us okay okay here we have it and then comma let's compile and see if you are not getting any errors because it's it is more important to check if you have errors anytime okay so we have symbol ask and we have symbol digits and then you are going to put a comma here and then you compile no error no nothing everything is perfect now you you don't have to know this you can just memorize this or make a note so that every time when you need to use the the ask you can put it so how do you do the remember for spread you need ask and the bid okay so how do you do the bid you can just copy this one paste it it's also double and then you change the name to bid you can put any name it's fine the only thing that you won't change are these ones you can see they are also even in colors so you can come here and remove this ask to be bit that way you get the information for both of them so now we have the information and make sure every time when you do this you put them inside the own tick function i always had the the error where the my robot will say uh, invalid stops invalid stops most mostly is because you took this and put them outside the function which was correct in mt4 but now in mt5 it's incorrect you must always put it inside on tick function so that it gets updated every time when the market moves okay or else you'll be getting a valid stops and you'll be changing your stop loss and then take profit thinking those are the problems while the problem actually is how you place these things i struggled with that a lot so now let me print let me print uh, the ask okay i won't do it on tick function now because if i do it on tick function i'm going to have lots of uh, let me show you i'm going to have lots of alerts which are annoying and hard to control because now there will be ding 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 market is moving for every tick i'm going to get that problem so i can just say ask here or unless if this market is not the um, okay let's open and see okay we are on derive the market is moving you can see so now i'm going to drop my robot on the charts allow motivation allow triangle trading you see now we are having it's coming 
often and often and it's changing as you can read here seven three six four what 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 when the market moves this function keeps on giving me the feedback okay when the market moves oh that's bad you see why i didn't want to put it on it's because i was avoiding that okay so okay let me put this so that it's i just hope it will change this background oh god it's not changing okay it's fine so in that way you're going to be able to read you can even put the the bit so how to calculate the spread so what you can do you can just put it the the ask and say minus a uh, minus bit and then you have the spread okay you have the spread or you can just put a different variable so that you can be able to assess this your spread every time you want it so you can name it spread and then say it's ask minus bit that's how you get the spread or it's bit minus whatever for me i think it's the same thing uh, unless if you are you are going to be calculating when the market is buying all those things so i can just come here and say print spread this robot will be giving me the update about the spread for every tick okay for every tick in fact i have to i have to close that because it's at the moment i just okay yeah let's open the charts again my, com my computer is freezing sometimes it's full of things videos software you know. uh, let me change this color you can just see color on white and then boom here we are so i'm going to drop the robot and now we're going to get the update of the spread every tick can see our spread is 0 0.16 0 0.16 0 0.29 0 0.16 this is the every second you can see the second every time when it changes this robot is updating me with the spread every time so i can use this spread to see if the spread is going up or the spread is going down or the the spread is you can see the spread is mostly 16.29 if you read very well you see 1629 1629 1629 so yeah you can create you can easily create a robot using this okay just like that so i'll close it to avoid the noise yeah then here is is the spread you can do a lot with this spread you can even say if the spread is is greater than 100 please open a bio whatever okay or if it spread is greater than 10 don't don't trade if it spread is greater than 0 point don't open a trade so this is how you do it okay this is how you do it guys thank you give me a subscribe and then give me a like okay and then i'll be making videos uh, you can even comment ask me a question and then i'll try to check if i can make a video for you and then publish it yeah just continue doing that I'll be engaging you guys on the comment section. So yeah, thank you.